my show and take to watch any accolade season one episode four day the last episode was amazing some much needed information gained i did have one comment that was pointing out that i wouldn't that they wouldn't necessarily say we got answers in that episode and while i do agree i feel like what i meant by saying we got answers in that episode was more i know where the girls came from i know what their family was the dynamic was like i know kind of what happened at least as far as osha knows in terms of what happened like that is so much more information so many more answers to a lot of my questions than i had but of the bigger picture there are a frick ton more questions that i'm very excited to keep delving into a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon and let's go so is he stationed here did he crash land and he's just living here has he chosen to kind of live an isolated life there's something more happened at that place than these Jedi have said. That's our time. It's much nicer than a school bell. Don't tell me you'll miss me. <laughs> you care about me. Of you course she does. Between the two of you. Someone must find May before she does any more harm, but it's not me. I just, I can't. It's a very complicated history, especially when May did try to kill her, at the very least. And we'll go to a cantina as far as she is concerned. You know, your sister being alive doesn't change anything. You need mm. to kill the Wookiee. You made a deal. There's three hours of sunlight left. Let's get going. Her sister being alive might change things a little bit for her. Follow me. But I don't think it will change her ultimate anger towards the Jedi. It just might give her a different lead she wants to follow, priority she might have deep down. But they targeted these three, four, hmm. including you, so. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. So did he think there was any chance? No one could have survived that. She did. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. As do I. A plan that is difficult mm. to see. And Holden neutralizes her. It won't come to that. Then the whole master will truly... But do you think she's going to come willingly? Why would she? Sure. Do we have something she wants? I mean, an offer to see her sister from the oh, she hasn't left already. You have to kill the Wookiee without a weapon. Your master wants she could kill to Soul without the weapon. I can't believe my sister shed ice scum. What was she, she like? thinking she about? There. I mean, your sister was taken she and raised the same as you. In over her head. She really fond of that one Jedi master. What was his name again? Soul? Hmm. Anyways, let's get going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So many interesting dynamics here. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Well, not official. Um. Could Maybe she? So if that's what she wanted to do? If you come, they will allow us both to go. Oh, she doesn't know the full picture of what happened there. What drove me to that hard. moment, I have to believe. I know you don't either. Of her that loves you. As far as Osha's concerned, she set the fire that killed everyone and he in trying to kill Osha. G given the perspective Osha has on all of this, I would not blame her for I'm saying not wearing that civilian robe. No. Because she doesn't owe her sister anything. She doesn't owe Soul anything at this point. But if she herself is curious and wants to go, then she should. If it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me. You need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. Oh, sure. Please. She's honest about it. Time. But maybe he brought you here to face yourself. You deserve this moment with her. I don't like the look of these trees. Mm hmm. Just keep moving. Don't touch it. Why would you touch it? Why would you touch it? I have it. It went straight for the saber. I was able to sense that creature. But 
I disturbed it. And now it's dead. It's all the resentment that I felt for my sister, even though I, I missed her at the same time. They didn't help you deal with those emotions. Not defined by what we lose. We need rest. You're losing your nerve. We can't have that, can we? I don't. There's such an odd dynamic here. We've lost Basil. Is this how May's luring the Jedi in? Acting the helpless I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? They're coming down! Ooh. You were wrong. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what are you doing? What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka. And then turn myself into the Jedi. No, 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 no. Fascinating. Stop, stop. Tell me more. It's ten minutes. Up. May! May! This is fascinating. What is it? It's nothing. It's not I'm nothing. Going You're going to face your past. Both of us will. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. Oh, is he gonna die before we can explain everything? Surely not. Her master's here too or something, right? This isn't gonna be as simple as she just turns herself in and everyone gets a happy reunion. And when I say happy reunion, I mean extremely traumatic reunion, but... He's found May. May, he's, you wanted to turn yourself into the Jedi. Osha. Oh my god, is he gonna be dead inside and she didn't do it, but they're gonna think she did it? Why did she run? She wanted, I guess she didn't know that Basil was with the Jedi. Because she could have just stayed and turned herself in. But she had no idea who it was. Who killed him? Interesting. A mask. Yeah. Should come out with your hands where we can see them. That means you, May Anasea. Oof. Her master being here definitely changes things for her. Something feels wrong. What the, what the, what the? What is that? Is that May's master? Is someone gonna do something? Who is this guy? I'm assuming it's a guy that was quite sexist of me, actually. So I'm guessing this guy isn't a Sith Lord because he doesn't like follow the Sith tradition, but he is someone like a rogue force user. Someone that maybe was trained in the Jedi way but went to the dark side. I guess not everyone on the dark side is a Sith. Again, I'm fairly novice in a lot of these terms, so if that's wrong, let me know. Um, May choosing to turn herself in. I mean, obviously that's not what happened, but May wanting to turn herself in to face whatever the consequences are, to give them all the information she has because her only loyalty to Osha is such another fascinating piece of this puzzle because the last time we saw May in the flashback, she was all, if you're going to join the Jedi, I'll kill you and setting fire to the room. Now, I never, I do believe something happened to make her do that or it wasn't her at all, but someone somehow impersonating her. I don't know if you can do that anything in the star wars universe but i don't know um i wondered if like mother pearl or whatever her name is had been like you should kill your sister and so she went off to do it and then regretted it you know there was a lot going on that osha wasn't privy to and we didn't see anything that osha didn't know about basically we, we followed osha through that story um which i think is such a fascinating way of doing it because we as the audience can have the same queries and questions and wonderings that osha will have but the fact that her response to finding her sister was alive to slowly but surely doubt everything and become to question, well, there is more to the world than just this deal. Um, I was assuming at the beginning that as much as she might 
be intrigued by her sister and want to find her sister that some of that rage we saw in her eyes even when she was tiny would still be there for the jedi and given that i have some kind of suspicion that there was some sort of a fight between the jedi and the women and the witches and the jedi did some things that weren't ideal then maybe it was her master the whole time and he made it look like it was the jedi so she thinks it's the jedi and the jedi think i, I don't know but obviously a lot went on that we don't know about and that i doubt any character has the full picture of the story um but i did i was sort of assuming may's general anger and hatred of the jedi would be the thing that would fuel her and keep her going but instead she was willing to walk away from it all surrender herself to the jedi take the risk they'd imprison her forever because even with the information she gives she gives them she still killed multiple masters unless part of that information is going to be those masters were bad people but then she wanted to turn herself into kalnaka and he was one of them so very but her loyalty only being to osha and wanting to find her sister again I just, I wish somehow Osha had got to know that was what May wanted to do. That May's sentiment was being willing to give up everything and put her own life on the line because her master is clearly not someone to underestimate in order to choose her sister. And does the master, her master now know that she made that choice? Or does he assume she was in there? Well, because the fact that he killed Kalnaka himself, he must have known that she was returning on him. Um, it's just there are so many fascinating pieces in this puzzle and May wanting to choose Osha is everything to me because it just it, it says she wasn't just suddenly evil as a child and always a bit evil and wanting to get revenge on her sister or whatever but I need to know more about this dynamic and I need to know what truly happened that night um, the answers we got were brilliant and they helped me get a better picture of what happened but obviously there are so many more details um, and who exactly this master is you know you have the jedi saying what is here is there a splinter organization is he this is he that i can't wait to find out i keep saying he because it seems like it's a guy but it might not be um it's just i'm loving this show and funny as someone who enjoys television i want my episodes to be seven hours long because i love television as someone who then has to edit reactions i really like it when they're kind of short like this show is but there is a part of me that almost wonders if the show couldn't have been half as long but with hour-long episodes and would that have been better or worse i don't know because i feel like they do kind of cut the story at sort of dramatic moments but it's an interesting choice to go for like if they could have a mini mini series with four episodes that or an hour long an hour an hour plus or they could have eight episodes that are half an hour long and i quite enjoy this format as a reactor but it is an interesting choice as well given how short these episodes actually are because like i think i've looked across the board and the longest episode seems to be like 46 minutes or so um whereas like the mandalorian and other star wars shows have had some episodes that were 30 minutes and some episodes that are an hour and a half okay that's slightly exaggeration but you know they have varied more osha becoming more at one with the force beginning to feel it again where she had lost her way with it is another fascinating development because it seems like is it just being around the jedi is it being forced to confront her past again she can't run from it the realization that may is alive freeing up a little bit of that guilt i just i'm really enjoying this story and i can't wait to f go further in it and i'm very stressed because whoever may's master is he is not someone to be trifled with and we are currently trifling with him <laughs> reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon and thank you so much for watching